I mean, and maybe nobody else thinks of this. Tell me if I'm wrong. But all these gas pumps, and somebody decides to block me from the only diesel pump. And he's only pulling in. Like, he could have just. But anyway, I mean, it, it is what it is. I don't know. It irks me a little bit sometimes. But people don't. I guess if you don't drive a diesel, you don't think about it. But anyway, headed home on this rainy day to do a little work on Maverick. Uh, y'all come join me. Alright, so we're back in here. Uh, and I told y'all, I've already done a uh, airbag delete on this. So, I've got another video showing you how to do an airbag delete. How to put an Eibach rear end, uh, rear end lift in. Uh, this, this is going to be extremely similar. Um, I can probably actually use that puck. And then I'll have to change the upper... Uh, let me show you the difference and I'm having to cut these this uh, These these nuts on the top of the shock just will not twist it turns the whole shock so Cutting that nut off and then I'm popping the 19 millimeter down there on both of them. That'll let my axle pivot uh, I'll probably have to um, Probably have to drop the uh, the sway bar links as well just to give me some more some more room to work uh so i'll probably drop them i don't know either on the hook here or up here whichever one twists free for me and then uh i can get these dobinson's rear springs in there that teal is gonna be looking really good so the dobinson's goes in um the shocks they look like this Good looking shop. I've got to put the zip tie over the boot. But uh, that's it, yeah. It's a uh, good looking shop. We're gonna get this thing swapped out. Um, so, what is this, this is the MRR? Yeah, that's the monitor. We went the MRR, I think I said IMS the other day. It's the monotube. Um, you gotta, well, if you had the remote reservoir wood, I guess this is the IMS. I don't remember what they call it. Dobinson's got different acronyms for everything, but these are the shocks that are going on the rear. Really sturdy shock. And, uh, oh, I also know what I was coming up here to show you. These are, this is the upper isolator. Um, strange, I know, but that's your upper isolator for that spring. And uh, I gotta get the, uh, hardware to hold that in and everything so get that upper light upper isolator in and we'll get the rear finished up on this thing under the back end and I get my other jack give myself some playing room to get those um get 
these springs out because that's next. So I'm going to jack up one side, pull the spring. I'm going to see if I can get it without jacking it up. But anyway, these springs have to come out and the larger, heavier springs from Dobinson's will go in. Uh, but first, um, we are going to uh, be spraying or I'm going to be sanding, getting rid of any of this surface rust you see there as much as I can. Uh, you can't get rid of it all, but the, uh, oh, I still got to take the isolator out. The, um, the frame looks really good, but right there on the rear chunk, a little bit of surface rust. So we're going to uh, take a wire brush and some, uh, I think you say it, POR 15, P-O-R 15. Anyway, clean it all up real nice and uh, I'm going to paint it black, make it look good. Uh, the uh, the rear bump stop or the rear isolators actually act as a uh, as an internal bump stop as well. So we'll have the uh, we'll have the bump stop extenders for uh, the actual normal bump stops, and then we'll uh, we'll have those isolators. That little thing that's cylindrical conical will go up in the top to be uh, where you won't hear it. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm gonna do next. And uh, I'll probably just bring you back uh, once I get that done. Y'all have seen me do um, videos on getting these springs in and out. Uh, I'll try to link it above if you have not. If you, if I don't link it, just go to my channel and search for uh, uh, rear, rear airbag delete, Eibach lift kit install, and I'll show you there how to get these springs in. You may want the little portable spring compressors for this. Uh, it just depends on how much flex you get, but if you got the sway bar loose, um, you shouldn't hopefully have to take out the pan hard bar or any of the other, you know, uh, control arms or anything to get this to happen. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get that done. You'll be, uh, I'll bring you back in when all of that's installed and give, give you a little look at it, see where we're at. Now I took a break. I fancy myself a little bit of an interior decorator. <laughs> My wife's gonna hate these. I guarantee she's gonna hate these when she comes home. But I don't decorate the house. She don't decorate the shop. They're mine. But anyway, I drive a Cummins. I love Corvettes. And I show you guys all about a Lexus. I figured they were fitting for the first three. We'll see where I go from there. But uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get this thing finished up. And we done, on the back anyway. So, I guess I should have left the wheels and tires off for you so you can see a little better. Yeah, so, we got her all painted up. I mean, there's still some touch-up on the paint left as I go forward. But, uh, as far as the any of the rusty spots around here, all cleaned up and painted over. The uh, 415. So, there's your isolator and your bump stop isolator. And your IMS the shock the uh well it's just hard to see i hope this is something that you guys like i know mr steve is wanting to see some uh some uh progress so here's the rear end done and uh we'll take a look at let's see if i can get you into that shock because it looks really good <laughs> i think the front's gonna look even better because you'll be able to see the front system but uh Get that Dobbins's logo and the IMS logo, and if you were gonna have a remote reservoir, then uh, that would be where it would go. But this one is just a, a mono tube, so you don't need that. And gives you a little bit of thread action up top. Got a little bit of the squish on your uh, the rubbers there. So let's take a peek at how high she's sitting. It's kind of hard to see because I'm not pulling it out of my shop for now, but there you go. Got that little <laughs> little bit of extra rake going on. Let's look around this way. There you go. That's a decent look at it. So, boo. <laughs> All right. So it's a lot of lift going on in the back, but uh, we still have a uh, still have a rear bumper to drop on there. So some of that is going to settle. Um, this won't be near as much space between them. I mean, you can fit some 
monster tires in there. 35s would fit easily. Uh, but we got a height restriction. So we gotta make sure this thing fits in a garage. Uh, and one of the next things we'll do is go ahead and swap this roof rack. Uh, and then we're gonna get the, uh, the springs done. Yeah, no, shop's still filthy. So I wanna come clean it. So we get these front springs done and uh, our shocks and struts total, whatever you wanna call it. Put the spring over the, over the shock and have that adjustable coil over ready to go on the front. That way I can see how high we're actually sitting. Dobinson's gave me an update on, ooh, they told me the rear or the front, I don't remember. I texted Mr. Steve about it, but uh, um, one of them is ready or we should be shipping next week. The other one may be delayed. I'm waiting on them to update me on that. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that Dobinson's uh, on the rear. We're gonna get the one in the front, see how she looks then. And we're still not sure. Uh, last, his last uh, uh, decision was to leave these. They're uh, 265, 70, 17s. That's a 31 and a half. So we may can squeak by we're, we're hoping to squeak by with the height here on his uh, roof tent and uh, everything once that gets on there. The roof tent will be coming later, but we wanna make sure that the roof rack and roof tent is all gonna fit in his garage. So that Dobbins' rear bumper is gonna bring this thing back down some and it'll settle some. It's not gonna sit that high all the time. So uh, I don't know if my next video will be doing the front just putting the struts together to show you how a wall-mounted spring compressor works. Or if I'm gonna do the sliders, it'll be a surprise. But we've got a lot going on, so I uh, hope you can join us. Uh, yes, I uh, am not in my jumpsuit. No, I don't have a shirt. And my daughter's sitting here staring at me funnily about it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm filthy, going to get a shower. We're gonna go deliver that one. Uh, just one go visit some family for a few minutes while we're over there just eat some supper and uh <laughs> you silly thing and uh all right what are you doing with the cat food uh oh <laughs> my middle son's trying to lead the cats somewhere i don't know what he's doing but anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh this one wasn't very educational again if you need <laughs> you just want in it if you need information on how to delete your airbags or how to put in because this is almost identical to the ibach i didn't want to bore you with that because i've already done that and you've already seen it but if uh i'll be doing more of these dobinsons i got two more lined up after this so if you need that just holler at me and uh, i can make that video happen but pretty happy with this so far hey jenna kate what do you think about my flags <laughs> got about the same reaction out of her mama neither one Neither one is very impressed with my flags. She likes to try and jump and get them, but that's about it. But anyway, until next time, make sure y'all smash that like button. God bless, and we'll catch you next time. Y'all know how I was going to uh, give half of my first month's YouTube to somebody. Uh, tonight's the night. They're working this poor girl at uh, Umi's Starkville, working her like crazy. So tonight's the night. She'll get hooked up thanks to you guys with... Uh, just over a hundred dollars, so we're gonna hook her up.